Well, I just finished making the outdoor area where the puppy could get to it now that the snow's finally melted. It's an area where we could have a cookout. I'm planning on adding a gazebo there. I haven't taken all the labels off, but I just put up a fence there so the puppy can have just this area here to play in and hopefully teach her to go out here to use the bathroom. Anyway, the battery's about gone, huh? Anyway, so I'm gonna take that fence in the back down so I have just like three acres of wide open space out there. These here are set so that I can pull them out and easily by hand to pull a vehicle in here if I wanted to. Matthew and I have been working on this room for a long time. It still needs some work. We've got a little bit of more plaster to do where we had to tear our little plaster to put in these uh, special lights that he has here. I forget what they're called, but anyway, pretty cool idea, but I had to tear a little sheetrock out to do it. He got the enormous TV, which uh, can run off of our internet or Blu-ray. And he's got several posters he's gonna line the walls with. He's been working on his artwork in here for months. And those lights he picked out. <laughs> That's supposed to be the magic school bus from the uh, children's cartoon with our family in it. And the Tetons and he's going to line the walls with all classic movie posters. So this would be the theater. A lot better than the barren wasteland that I, we had here that had no, had nothing but rafters and falling down insulation. Oh yeah. And what's a theater without a popcorn popper? Well, anyway, hopefully we could turn this space into a really nice cookout and the kids can ride four wheelers right out the back there all over the property. Park it right here, come in, get cool or warm, whichever applies. And we can have a cookout right here. I wanna put a gazebo right there to lend some shade to this area because in the late afternoon, it gets kind of hot. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's going to be a little area here. And then, of course, the property out there will be for riding four-wheelers uh, and having a big garden. Oh, the doggy hasn't quite got where she's ready to come out yet. She's still a little spooked. Hey there. Hey there, little bit. Huh? Aren't you going to come out? Aren't you going to come out? She's not quite ready. This out-of-doors thing scares her still. Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. She ain't gonna do it. Oh well, it's all for now. Well, this is Friday, um, March 25th, and I just got my Fiesta wear delivered. They said it was from 1938, so I decided to see if they lied to me, because if it's 1938, it could have up to 25% uranium natural uranium in the glaze. So I got it from these people here. And here I am set on 10 times 10. The middle scale would be the scale I'll be using. Yes. And let's see if it's if it's if it's the real deal. I'm getting eight millirem on contact. Uh, I'm not eating my pie off of that plate. That's eight millirem on contact. Cool. I'm going to get more. Okay. It passed the test. It is legitimate 1938 Fiesta wear with natural uranium in the glaze. Paris or Valerie? <laughs> Paris. You can open the door now. I just want to say turn the heater off. Ha ha ha. This is the dog yeah, I, I kicked it off a while ago. I we have one amazing dog. It was on. Uh, you do have amazing dog. Oh, Paris. That's yes. my dog. We have this dog. Which she will be walking back and forth with me. And then we will have another dog named Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Bologna. What? Baloney. I'm just making up animals. And oh, okay. they will be competing. 
Uh huh. She's chewing on the leashy. <laughs> Got a nice Let me introduce right you to our judges. We have Matt. Raise your hand, please. Uh huh. He loves animals. He loves them. And Papa. Papa? Right here? Uh huh. The amazing Papa. <laughs> the only Papa I have. So, yeah. Well, not the only grandpa you have, but I'm the only Papa. Uh huh. Itty the doggy bone. We have itty bone. Give your dog a bone. Ah, uh, she she. I um, guarantee you, she prefers the pepperoni. Stop, stop, stop. Hey. Take your finger off. <laughs> or the next one could be princess oh yeah and we have another dog she's very late and she is very old yeah she is old she's, she's probably like, dead now <laughs> she's uh -huh. about six years old and her she only has one year life left <laughs> okay so um come on Lauren. The princess you know would be over 20 years old now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the amazing princess dog. And then we have another contestant named Dude. Uh-huh. He's from Descendants. Had her long ago in Florida. Come on, Paris. I meant princess, not Paris. I'm thinking of a different dog. Okay, come on. That is our first dog. Judges, what is your rating of baloney? Oh, I think it's just a lot of baloney. Okay, is it 10, 1, 9? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is it? Uh, 9.25. Okay. Matt? 8. <laughs> baloney is in the lowest so far. Okay, come on, princess. And the next one could be Buttercup. That dog was a menace. Well, yeah, oi. Buttercup, you know that there's a story that we like of Princess Buttercup. So, is it Buttercup, Princess, or Princess Buttercup? It's Princess Buttercup. Also, what is your rating on Princess Buttercup? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Eight and a half. Okay. Matt, yours? Nine. Cruella de Vil? No! It's Don't let her son. in. He likes dogs. That's why oh, she, yeah, she likes to wear them. No, dude is a nice guy. Oh, I, I thought she said Cruella de Vil. No, Cruella's son. Oh, I see. Cruella de Vil, she loves dogs. She likes to wear them. Cruella de Vil's son didn't like dogs at first until he met dude. Oh, uh, okay. Talking dude dog. Okay. Talking dude dog. What is your rating on dude from Descendants? Okay. The most famous dog that went to Papa Cat Academy. Papa Academy. I have no idea what you're talking about, but keep going. And he's the famous dog. He is very nice and he can't talk anymore because um, his wig got taken away at Yeah, here they're stringing these high voltage lines here. Interesting. By helicopter.
I mean, that's Sounds good. good. That seems right. to be okay. a mega tradition. All right. Show me what show me what Hulk does. Ugh, Hulk smash! Hulk smash! Alright. Don't hit your brother. <laughs> oh Hulk smash! Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> you lost it! Uh-oh. I better get you out. Okay, here we are, the Friday before Easter. That makes this good Friday, doesn't it? Wow. Watch it. America's Funniest Videos. Dying Easter Eggs. Hi there, little bit. Are you Paris? We'll always have Paris. Yeah. Well, we got the grandkids over here for a few hours yet. Well, maybe a couple hours more. Dying the Easter eggs while we've got them. So, well, how about that one? That one's yours. So, I'm dying. So, Barry, no, 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 Barry, no, no. I just dyed it. Look at, look. See, it's half green and half a different okay. green. Hey, Barry, hold your hands up again. I love this. Let me see those hands. Uh, is that you're turning into the Hulk? You've got green hand. Well, and an orange one. It'll turn it brown. Put it in this one. It'll turn it. I did multiple cups sitting in the regular cups. Oh, now let's see what color it turns. Oh, it's it's a different green. Oh yeah. Let's see what. No, I just finished that one. Look at I, it. I think <laughs> you have to have it. How about you? Oh, you're putting on a little bit more elaborate one. Turn it over. Oh, oh, it'll turn it brown. I told you that. By the time we end up. Finish, we'll we'll end up with there you go. Dozen brown eggs. You want to take some of them with you no. over to uh, your dad's house? No, it's not just no. No? Oh, well, it's you leave them here. I eat them. Please, it's not all the green. Ah! Okay, guys. Oh, look at that one. You got it? That one's pretty I think awesome. they're having a big old time. See, it's not all blue. No, not that. What are you really going to do on the Friday before Easter? Blue. You got grandkids. Yeah. Dye Easter eggs. Of course. What color is that? All right. We stay the way they get us. And so we're simply stuck with what we've got. We can't improve them. The kids are simply stuck with what they got. What are we going to do about... Hello, dear. Now I have my own personal disco ball in the sun. I think I like that dress. I liked it. That's why I bought it. I thought it fit me. <laughs> I was really afraid it wouldn't. All right. 